What's the mineral beneficiation? In this video, we will look at the beneficiation process of all in detail. Extractive metallurgy involves extracting valuable metals from ores, refining them into purer forms. It focuses on three main streams, feed, concentrate, and tailings, or refers to rocks containing desired minerals. While gang and tailings are impurities, concentration is the enriched portion containing essential minerals. The process involves several steps, separating ores from unwanted rocks, extracting minerals from the ores, further refining. As most minerals aren't pure metals, these steps are collectively known as beneficiation or mineral dressing. The process of mineral beneficiation involves several steps to enhance its quality and remove impurities. The typical steps of mineral beneficiation are as follows, comminution, sizing, Concentration, Dultering, Comminution. The aim of Ammunition is to prepare or for beneficiation, executed in mechanized crushers and mills, it including crushing and grinding. Crushing is performed in stages to produce or suitable for use in milling feed, primary crushing, also known as coarse crushing. This stage reduces or to a size manageable by a secondary crusher, typically round 10 centimeters, jaw gyratory, and impact crushers are commonly used as primary crushers. Secondary crushing, in this stage, or is further crushed from 10 centimeters to less than 2 centimeters in size. Cone crushers are often employed in secondary crushing stations due to their versatility in handling various feed and discharge conditions. Tertiary crushing, also known as fine crushing, this stage reduces or from 2 cm to less than 0.5 cm in size. Cone crushers, vertical shaft impactors, or high-pressure grinding roll crushers are suitable for this stage of crushing. Grinding Grinding, a wet operation requiring water to form a slurry, involves further disintegrating crushed or in a mill. Initially done manually with millstones powered by men or water, modern grinding occurs in rolling or ball mills or typically around 0.5 cm in size, is fed into the mill, which reduces it to particles less than 0.01 micrometers. Following comminution, crushing, and grinding, the subsequent step is sizing. Sizing. Sizing is the process of separating particles based on their size. Achieved through screening and classification. Screening. This involves passing ground or over a screen surface allowing smaller particles to pass through while retaining larger ones. Equipment like bar screens, flip-flop screens, and vibratory screens are used for screening. Classification. It separates mineral particles based on their settling velocities. Particles of different sizes, but the same density settle at different rates in a fluid. Equipment for classification includes air sorters, hydraulic classifiers, mechanical classifiers, and cyclones. Concentration is the process of separating valuable minerals from other materials obtained from grinding mills, aimed at increasing the percentage of desired minerals in the ore. These properties include density, gravity separation, physiochemical characteristics, froth flotation separation, electric conductivity, electrostatic separation, magnetism, magnetic separation, and color, optical separation. 1. Gravity separation. Gravity separation, also called hydraulic washing, is employed for metals heavier than gang particles, utilizing differences in mineral density for concentration. It's one of the oldest mineral separation techniques, or is passed through water, with lighter gang particles being pushed upwards while heavier concentrates settle. It's effective for minerals with uniform particle size and significant density variations such as gold, tin, lead, zinc, and tungsten, particularly for coarse-grained or enrichment. Techniques include in-can float separation, heavy media separation, shaking tables, and jigging machines. Froth flotation separates hydrophobic from hydrophilic particles in fine-grained mineral concentrations, or suspended in water, with collectors like pine oil enhance non-wettability. Of metal particles forming froth, Stabilizers maintain froth, while water removes impurities and oil separates metals, 
Continuous stirring is crucial for sustained froth formation. This method enables processing of complex ores containing copper, lead, zinc, and pyrite into separate concentrates and tailings. Electrostatic separation. Electrostatic separation utilizes an electric field to separate minerals according to their electrical conductivity and charge. When mineral particles with varying polarity enter the electric field, they deflect in distinct directions. Allowing for separate capture, this method is particularly advantageous for separating mineral sands. Magnetic separation. Magnetic separation relies on magnetic properties of minerals for separation. Magnetized equipment, like magnet-equipped rollers, is employed to attract and separate unwanted particles, enriching the ore. Magnetic substances susceptible to magnetism adhere to the rollers, while unwanted particles are dislodged. It is suitable for minerals with magnetic or conductive properties, such as magnetite and pyrite. Optical separation. Optical separation relies on the optical and radioactive characteristics of minerals. It concentrates particles with distinct colors visible to the naked eye or detected by electro-optic sensors responsive to infrared, ultraviolet light, and gamma radiation. For dewatering, concentrates and tailings produced are dewarded to convert the pulse to a transportable state. In conclusion, the beneficiation process will help improve the concentration of the ore and remove impurities. The result will be high quality fine ore powders. In conclusion, the beneficiation process will help improve the concentration of the ore and remove impurities. The result will be high quality fine ore powders. If you like it, follow me. Learn more about mineral knowledge.